Greetings and welcome to the Thursday Night Play Space Live. I'm Keith Avalon from Play Games. And tonight it's our Memorial Day weekend military all-star game featuring our history makers who served card set for History Maker Baseball. We made this set last year to go along with a newsletter article that I wrote uh, about baseball stars who served in the military during the two world wars, uh, the Korean conflict and Vietnam. And we uh, divided the teams, the cards into two teams, Army and Air Corps, and uh, Navy and Marines, and we played a baseball game. Uh, last year, the Army won 5-3. to three. Tonight, we'll see if the Navy can even up the series. Uh, last year's starters are on top here of the visitor and home dugouts. We had, to, actually, it wasn't uh, Ed Figueroa. It was Bob Feller, uh, who started last year for the Navy. Uh, and Hoyt Wilhelm, I'm sorry, it was not Hoyt Wilhelm, he was, it was Warren Spahn. I specifically put the last year starters underneath the starters so I wouldn't get confused. And here I am confusing myself. So uh, Warren Spahn and Bob Feller were the starters last year for the game. This year, um, we'll have Tom Seaver on the mound for the Marines and Navy, and we'll have uh, Whitey Ford on the mound for the Army. And last year's game, Army was home, so this year's game, we will have Navy at home. And we're playing the game at Isley Field uh, on uh, Saipan on the Marianas. It was actually a historical field where they actually, actually had quite a few baseball fields made or, or established on the Marianas when uh, the military was, you know, in the Pacific Theater. And this was just one of them, probably the best known of them. It is a small ballpark for both right-handed and left-handed batters. So with some, Tom Seaver facing Jackie Robinson, I guess I can run down the batting orders for you. For the Army at second base will be Jackie Robinson. At center field, Willie Mays, the Say Hey Kid. Hank Greenberg will play uh, first base for the uh, Army Air Corps. Ernie Banks at shortstop. Joe DiMaggio will play left field. We have Ty Cobb, a World War I veteran, playing in right field. Joe Garagiola at catcher. Uh, we are using uh, one of the hometown soldiers for each team. The card sets include... Uh, kind of generic uh, servicemen for both sides to kind of fill out the rosters. They're unnamed players who uh, might very well have played alongside the, the uh, big leaguers in these uh, service ball games. So the hometown airmen will play third base. And pitching, of course, is uh, Whitey Ford for the uh, Army Air Force. For the Navy Marines, we got Stan Musial leading off. He is playing left field. Johnny Pesky is at shortstop. Larry Doby is playing center field. Ted Williams, first base. Roberto Clemente at right field. Bill Dickey will catch. we got uh, Pee Wee Reese playing third base. The hometown sailor is playing second base. And pitching will be Tom Seaver. And we're ready to roll. Let's see how it all plays out. Let's play ball from Saipan on the Mariana Islands. Jackie Robinson leading off. And here we go. 4-4-6. Is uh, Seaver a star? He is not. 
is Robinson Sad Sack Utility or Patient. He is none of those, so he's going to get a single and... Well, yeah, he got the, he got the decider dice. He's going to single, delete off, and steal second base. So the Army strikes first with a single. We'll give a stolen base to Jackie Robinson. Here's Willie Mays. One, three, six. You see for an ace, he's got the dot. It's a strikeout. So Willie Mays is going to strike out. Here's Hank Greenberg with one out. One, four, five. That is going to be a ground out to, uh, let's see, it'll be to the first baseman. So that will actually advance, that will advance uh, Robinson to uh, third. And uh, let's see, Ernie Banks. Four, four, six. Star pitcher, he's not a star pitcher. Sansek, you your patient. He is none of those. So it's going to be another single. I think I rolled that already for Jackie Robinson. That's going to score uh, Jackie Robinson. So we've got our first run. Jackie Robinson crosses the plate, and Army takes a 1-0 lead on Ernie Banks' single. And two outs, Joe DiMaggio. 4-5-5. Four, five, five. Is this flash for Tom Seaver? Yes, struck him out. And that will end the inning with one run across for the Army. One nothing and Navy coming to bat. Let's move DiMaggio to the bottom of the pile. Ty Cobb will lead off the second inning for Army Air Corps. All right, Whitey Ford on the mound for Army. Here's Stan Musial. Four, five, six. Patient? No, strangely enough, he's not patient. So it's going to be a fly out to center field. We're going to use harmony or use the chemistry chart. And for this game, both teams are going to be full harmony. So Johnny Pesky will bat on the chemistry chart. Here we go, 34. Batting team harmony, yes. So Johnny Pesky waits for his pitch, smacks a single to the outfield. So we got our first runner on base for Navy. Here's Larry Doby, who was stationed at the Great Lakes Naval Training Station in Illinois during World War II. Uh, let's see, 266. Runner on first, thrown out. Oh, Pesky gets thrown out. Yeah, looks like uh, Joe Garagiola gunned him down trying to steal. All right, here's uh, Doby still at bat with two out now, though. One, five, six. Whiffer? He is a whiffer, so Larry Doby strikes out, and it's a sort of a one, two, three inning. One, two, three, but uh, not in the normal sequence. And Army holds on to its one nothing lead as we go to the second inning. Here's Ty Cobb leading off against Tom Seaver. The uh, Navy Marine team is a little bit light on pitching. Uh, conversely, the Army Air Corps has more pitching depth, but not a lot of uh, backup batting help. So that has to be kind of be kept in mind as we uh, as the game progresses. 2-6-6 for Cobb. There's no runner on first, so is he the leadoff batter? He is. Single for Ty Cobb. And here's Joe Gargiola, who uh, threw out Johnny Pesky trying to steal second. One one five. Is he fresh? Yes. Pop up to choice. Oops. So Garagiola pops out. Here's the hometown airman trying to drive in Ty Cobb. Four four six. Is Seaver a star? He is not. Sad. He is a sad sack batter though. So instead of getting the single to right field, it's going to score him. He's going to get a look at a called third strike. So Seaver sneaks one by him. And here comes Whitey Ford batting for the uh, Army. One four five. Is he a struggler? No. Ground out to the corner, and uh, that'll wrap it up for the Army that inning. And fairly quick inning. Nobody in. Go to the bottom of the second with the Army still leading, one to nothing. We'll put Whitey Ford on the bottom. Leading off is going to be Ted Williams for uh, Navy Marines. Drafted in 1942, commissioned second lieutenant, and earned his pilot's wings in uh, June of 1944. One, two, six. Fresh? Yes, line out. So it's a quick line out for Ted Williams. Here's Roberto Clemente. Three, four, six. Is he eager? He is, yes, he's got the decider die dot that says he jumped on the pitch and popped it out. So two down, and here's... Bill Dickey, 
three three five is pitcher wild no sad sack batter no it's a single to right field and he is stoic so he will not steal but he does get on base and navy has its second base runner two out one on let's move our oh, I, did, I didn't mention the umpires are also uh, military veterans Nestor Shylock served in the Army, World War II, Jim Honichick Navy, Red Flaherty in the Marines, and Augie Donatelli in the Army Air Corps. All right, here's Pee Wee Reese with two out. One, 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 oh my gosh, is uh, Ford an ace? He is not. And Reese is not a scrapper, so it's a home run to left field for Pee Wee Reese. Putting Navy on top. Two to one. Big hit for Pee Wee Reese. Big hit from the little guy. All right. Still two out. Here's a hometown sailor who gets a 2-4-5. It's going to be a hero check, I believe. And he's not a hero, so it'll be a pop out to the second baseman. And that will end the inning. We'll start the next inning on the experience page. Two runs in for the Marines and Navy. It's 2-1. to one. Squids versus Grunts. Squids on top. Top of the third, and it's Jackie Robinson leading off. He is listed as a semi-prospect. Seaver is a full prospect for this. These cards are rated based on where they were uh, in their careers when they did their military service. Seaver actually uh, joined the Marine Corps, Marine Corps Reserves right out of high school. All right, so it's Prospect versus semi-prospect, 66. Uh-oh, there's the pitch. It's a drive to center field fence for Jackie Robinson. It's going. Get, let's see, he's a semi-slugger. Let's see if he's a slugger, first of all. He is a slugger. Going, going. Oh, it's a double. All right, so Jackie Robinson lofts a double to lead off the third inning. That's his second hit, two for two. And here's Willie Mays. There we go. Four, four, six. How many times did I roll four, four, six? That's going to be that. Uh, he's he's not, and he's and Seaver is not a star. That'd be an out for Whitey Ford, but for Seaver, it's not. And of course, he's neither a sad sack utility or patience. So it's going to be a single to right field. It's going to score. He's going, going to score uh, Robinson to tie the game. And then Willie Mays is also active, so he's going to steal second base. So we got our second stolen base. Oops, got to put the stolen base in the right place here. And so we've got nobody out. Score is tied. Man on second. Hank Greenberg batting. Hey, Dad. Yeah. Al says that it was 4-6-6. Uh, six, six. Did, four, four, six. did I read it wrong? That's what he says. Can we back up? A couple times. Can we back up the tape and take it? I guess we really can't, can't we? I, th I think I can. All right, hang on. A it's, review. It wouldn't, be, it wouldn't be the first time that I read the dice wrong. Four six six. All right, so back that up. Isn't it great for technology, huh? All right, so uh, let's 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 back this up. So a double. Put him back. Put him back. Four six six. Gonna be control. He does have control. Um, and I, I don't remember if I, have, if I, I I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna have to re-roll the decider die. Or do, do you have the screenshot? Yeah, I do. I do. Uh, Was he it? Had a, the dot. He did have the dot. Yep. So. Actually, that's a pitch red. It's a single anyway. <laughs> he just doesn't steal the base. So, same result. We're going to take away the stolen base. All right. Well, I'm glad we got that that straightened out. So, instead of being on second base, he will be on first base. Al pointed that out? Yeah. Thanks, Al. I appreciate that. No, Al, we can always count on Al to make sure it gets done right. Okay, so I'll be sure to watch the dice more carefully. I guess I saw those fours and sixes. I thought, man, I keep rolling that same number. All right, so uh, runner on first, not second, but the score is still tied. Mays does get the single. He just doesn't get the stolen base. Uh, momentary lapse of control for Tom Seaver. All right, and Hank Greenberg is up, and we continue. One, five, six. Uh, is he a whiffer? He is not. It's going to be an outfield drama. 23. Uh, center fielder, iron. Now there's going to be an outfielder that's iron, so it's going to be an easy fly out for Greenberg. And that'll keep uh, Mays at first, obviously. Ernie Banks, who singled in his first at bat and drove in a run. 4-4-5. Oops, wrong way. 
Uh, Workman pitcher, no, patient batter. He is not patient. It's going to be a ground out that will advance the runner to second. And uh, here's Joe DiMaggio with two out. Man on second, score tied. There's the pitch, 3-6-6. Three, six, six. He's not a pinch hitter. It's a flat to center field, and that will end the inning. Two, three, four. Okay, so the score is tied 2-2, two to two, and we head to the bottom of the third. Looks like Seaver's going to lead off for uh, Navy. He is a sad sack semi-utility. Against Whitey Ford, 3-5-6. That's the same result, isn't it? So he's a right-handed batter against a left-handed pitcher. So actually, he's going to scratch out a hit, isn't he? Oh, utility or sad sack. we got to use the decider die, but he does, and he does have the decider die, so that will be a ground up to the shortstop. Almost snuck one by Whitey Ford. And here comes Stan Musial. 4-4-6. Four, four, that's the star result, and Whitey Ford is a star, and it's a ground out. So Musial grounds out. And that brings up Johnny Pesky, who had a single and got thrown out trying to steal back in the first inning. 2-3-4. Runners on base. We do not have runners on base. Much to my... Let me take that base runner from last inning off. Is he the hot batter? Well, we didn't specify, so number, the second number two batter is hot, the number eight batter is cold, So, and he actually is the number two batter, so that's going to be hot. So it's going to be a fence result for Pesky. Pesky is neither slugger nor scrapper, so it's just going to be a regular, this is the other column, and here's Johnny Pesky with five. It's a triple. So Pesky gets a triple. And we have a runner on third with two out. And Larry Doby. Can Doby get him in and give the Navy the lead? 2-4-5. Is he a hero? He is a hero. That will score him. Single to left field. And a run is in for the Navy. Larry Doby knocks in Johnny Pesky. It's 3-2. to two. Still two out. Here's Clemente. I'm sorry, uh, Ted Williams, rather. One, one, three. Is he ace or dynamic? He's neither. Is he a, is William a slugger? Yes. Double to left field. So that will, let's see here. I don't think that's going to score him, though. Uh, let's see. Active runner score for the second. Runners advance one base. Nope, that will not score him. Two outs, any runner scores from second on any hit, but he's not on second. He's on first. So we're going to have runners on second and third. I guess I could try to run, try to, See if he can get in. I don't think they will, though, because that makes Whitey Ford as a semi-struggler right now with three consecutive base hits. So uh, they're going to hold him at third rather than try to stretch it, stretch it in for the run. And Clemente up with runners on second and third. Two out. Whitey Ford semi-struggling. Can he get out of the inning? 3-6-6. Three, six, six. Pinch hitter, nope. Fly out to center field. That will end it. So Clemente flies out to center field, leaving the runners on second and third, but one run is in, and Navy takes the lead 3-2. to two. This time I'm going to remember to take the uh, blue base runners off. Leading off the fourth inning against Tom Seaver, Joe, let's see, it's going to be Ty Cobb. Batting in the sixth position. 1-1-4. One, one, fresh. He is still fresh. It's a ground out. Got the decider die. Otherwise, we would have had a base runner. Here's Joe Garagiola. One, four, five. That's going to be a ground out. And the hometown airman. One, one, two. Has he got flash? He does. Struck out the hometown airman. And that was a quick inning for the Army. And the Navy holds on to its 3-2 to two lead as we go to the bottom of the fourth. Whitey Ford still on the mound. Let me mark that up here in case I... Forget after the game. Uh, let's see. It's going to be Bill Dickey leading off. For Navy, here we go. One three six. Is he an ace? He's not. Uh, is he a whiffer or cold? He is neither whiffer nor cold, so that's going to be infield drama for Bill Dickey. Can he leg out the hit? Let's just see. First baseman Iron. Let's see. There is the first base... The uh, 
third baseman is iron. That's the hometown airman, but the first baseman is not. So it's going to be an easy ground out. And Dickey does not make it to first. Here's Pee Wee Reese, who had the big home run in the second inning. 1-3-5 is going to be the unusual result. And it is a uh, umpire result, looks like, with nobody on. All right, so here's our umpire result 1-3. Base is empty. Questionable umpire at home? No, there's no questionable umpires in this game. Uh, ball four, based on balls. So that's going to be a, a walk for Pee Wee Reese. Another base runner for the Navy. Here's the hometown sailor. Looking to get the thrill of his life by knocking in Pee Wee Reese. Let's see if he can do it. 3-6-6. Six, six. Is he a pinch hitter? No, fly out to center field. And that's going to bring Tom Seaver up to the plate with two outs. One, two, four. Does he have control? Uh, let's see. Um, hold on, I'm, I'm on the wrong thing here. There, here's my, here's the right one. Uh, does he does not have control? Because uh, he didn't get the decider die dot. So that will be. Is he eager though? Let's see. Uh, I'm looking at the wrong card here. He's semi eager. I got to roll again. So Seaver is actually semi eager. If I uh, roll a dot, if I roll a blank, he's going to get to first base on a, on a walk. And he does. So Tom Seaver manages to get the first base. Two walks now for Whitey Ford. We might want to get him out of there. He's not He's not doing very well. And here's Stan Musial with two on, two out. Let's see if Whitey Ford can get him out. They actually have a pretty good uh, depth on the Army squad, so we, we're not going to let them go beyond this if there's a if there's a hit. Two two six, batter hit by pitch. No blank. So we continue on. It's going to be clean. Is he the cleanup batter? He is not the cleanup batter. So it's going to be a fly out. Is he a whiffer? Let me just check real quick. No. So it's going to be a fly out. So he does manage to get him out. And see two three four. Five. So uh, nobody nobody scores, but they do threaten, and the r score remains three to two, Navy on top. So we go to the f top of the fifth inning, and leading off will be Ford. I think it's a good time to pin have a pinch hitter. So let's get uh, a pinch hitter in for the Army. Who have we got? That's where they're actually actually not very strong in pinch hitting. Let's let the let's let the hometown soldier pinch hit. Um, one of one of several hometown soldiers, one of three hometown soldiers. This is a different hometown soldier. This is hometown soldier B. So we'll let him pinch hit here. All right, here we go. Against Tom Seaver. Oops, I guess I better. Oh, look at that triple ones. And Seaver is not an ace. Uh, is the hometown soldier a scrapper? He is a semi-scrapper. I guess i got to roll this again, though. He is a scrapper. Oh, he would have hit a home run. He does get a double, though. Lead-off double for the hometown soldier. That's pretty exciting. All right, let's put him back in the stack. And Jackie Robinson will try to knock him in. All right, we are on the top of the fifth inning. Navy's leading 3-2. Jackie Robinson to the plate. One four five. That will be uh, the ground out to the. Uh, let's see. He would be batting right, so he would. Uh, yeah, I guess that he would not advance the runner then. So that will hold him at second. Ground out. Runner holds. Willie Mays. One out. One two two. Workman pitcher note. Champ or whiffer. He is a semi champion, but. Did not get the dot. That would have been a little nubbed single. Instead, it's going to be a line out to the third baseman for Willie Mays. And it brings up Hank Greenberg with two out. And a runner on second. Is he going to strand the hometown soldier? 4-6-6. Six, six. That's the control result, isn't it? And Seaver does have control, which means the pitch is red, single to left field, and in comes the hometown soldier on Hank Greenberg's base hit. Tying the score, 3-3. Hometown Soldiers embraces. He crosses the plate. 
by the other airmen and soldiers. And here comes Ernie Banks with Greenberg on first. Three, four, five. Iron Catcher, no. Good eye batter. He is a semi good eye. He is a good eye. So check swing ball. We're going to go to the umpire chart. With a runner on, let's see, we got a runner on. I keep forgetting to remove the uh, base runners. We got a runner on first. And we're back to the umpire chart. 16. Strict umpire at home. Semi strict. I guess I better roll the decider die. I usually like to do that separate. He is strict. Check swing disallowed. Augie Donatelli says strike three. You're out. So that'll do it for Ernie Banks. Gives him a glare. And that'll end the inning. But it does tie the score 3 3. Bottom of the fifth. Here's uh, Johnny Pesky leading off. Well, we need a new pitcher, don't we? Well, Warren Spahn pitched last game, the, last year. So let's let somebody else come in. Let's let uh, let's put Don Newcomb on the mound for the Army. And let's see here. We'll mark this like this. So Don Newcomb is a uh, star flash with semi-control, big league stardom. Was interrupted by his service in the Korean War, and uh, then of course he came back to pitch in the big leagues afterward. Uh, so leading off will be Johnny Pesky, who tripled and singled. Five, five, six. Let's see. Is he an ace pitcher? He is not an ace because he's not relieving in the middle of an inning. Is he a sad sack batter? Of course not. Double the right field for Johnny Pesky. Active steals. He's not active, but he could hit for the cycle. He's got a double, a triple, and a single. That would be something for the Memorial Day game, wouldn't it? We'll see what he what he does in the uh, in his next at bat. He should, he should be able to get one more at bat at least. All right, here's Larry Doby. Not a good start for Don Newcomb. It allows his first base runner to get a double. Two five six. Struggler pitcher, no. Champion or patient? He is semi-patient. Oh, he just drew a walk. Uh-oh. Runners on first and second for the Navy. Here's Ted Williams. That's not the guy you want to be facing when you got runners on first and second. One, two, five. That could be a double play. Struggler, no. Patient. He is patient. It's a walk. We got the glasses result. Let's just take a look here. I think that's questionable or strict at, let's see, questionable or strict. Oh, he is semi-strict, isn't he? So let's see, did I use the, uh, I didn't use the decider, did I? Did I? So that is going, so he's not going to be strict this time. So Augie Donat Donatelli lets this one slide by, and that's going to be ball four. And the bases are loaded with nobody out. Here's Roberto Clemente, and Don Newcomb is struggling. Uh, this should be. T I'm going I'm to roll the decider die. <laughs> it's like he really ought to come out, but uh, I, I don't want to be biased. So we'll roll the decider die. If I roll a dot, he's coming out. Nope, he's going to stay in. Here's Clemente. This could be bad. Three, four, six. Is he eager? He is semi-eager. Oh, he is eager. Fly out to center field. Uh, Stoic on runner. Stoic runner on third base holds. Other score. Who's on third base? That would be Pesky. I don't think he's stoic. I don't think he's he's not active, but I don't think he's stoic. Nope, he's just nothing. So he's going to score. So it's going to be a sack fly for Roberto Clemente, which will give the Navy the lead. It's going to score Pesky. We got one out. So Newcomb finally settles down and gets an out. And that'll bring up Bill Dickey with one out, two on, and now the Navy back on top, four to three. Two, two, five. Is he a star pitcher? He is a star. So that's going to be a fielder's choice. And so uh, Dickey gets to first. That'll move uh, Williams to second, and Doby's thrown out at third, and there's now suddenly two out. And here's Reese. Pee Wee Reese who had the big home run in the second inning. Three, five, six. That's the same result. Reese is right, and Don Newcomb pitches right, so Newcomb struck him out. Newcomb settled down after those, uh, after letting the first three guys on. He settles down and gets uh, the next three out, but the sack fly from Clemente does score a run, and Navy retakes the lead, 
Four to three as we go to the top of the sixth. So Joe DiMaggio will lead off for the Army against Tom Seaver, who's still in there. They have to kind of watch their pitching. They've got Bob Feller, though, and then Ed, Ed Figueroa, and that's just about it. I guess they've got Hugh Casey as well. But uh, they'll wait till Seaver gets in trouble before yanking him. All right, so leading off is uh, DiMaggio. Top of the sixth, it's 4-3 to three Navy. 2-5-6. Struggler, no. Champion or patient? He is a champion. A walk for Joe DiMaggio. Lead off walk. Tyon runs on first base. Here's Ty Cobb. 1-4-5. Struggler, no. Uh, double play ball. Double play for Ty Cobb. Takes the runner off the bases, and all of a sudden, two out. Nobody on. Four, five, six for Joe Gargiola. Uh Patient. He is not patient. It's a fly out to center field. We're going to go to the chemistry chart to start the uh, next half inning. Nobody in for the Army. Still trailing 4-3. We go to the bottom of the sixth. And leading off will be the hometown sailor. And he gets the benefit of the uh, team chemistry chart. Both teams full harmony. Against Newcomb, 4-5. Batting team harmony, yes. Focused batter waits on the pitch, base on ball. So the uh, hometown sailor draws a walk to lead off the inning. And uh, nah, I don't know if they want to take Seaver out or not. We're going to automate the decision. Dot, he's going to get a pulled for a pinch hitter. Nope, he's going to bat. He did draw a walk last inning, though. To your receiver. 1-3-3. Three, three. I don't believe he's a slugger. <laughs> uh, no. It's a fly out to left field for Tom Seaver. All right, here's Stan Musial. 4-5-6. Yes, 4-5-6. Uh, patient, he is not patient. So it's a fly out to center field. And again, we're going to go to the chemistry chart. Two out now, and Johnny Pesky. So here's Johnny Pesky trying to sit, hit for the cycle. He's on the chemistry chart. It could work out for him. 33. Pitching team distance? No. Ground out to first base. That'll end it. He might get another chance to bat, though. So nobody in for the Navy, and it's still 4-3 to three Navy as we go to the top of the 7th. Seaver's still on the mound. He's no longer fresh, however. And here's Joe Garagiola. 1-5-6. Let's see. Whiffer, he is a whiffer. Struck him out. I'm sorry, it was the hometown airman, not Joe Garagiola. I believe he's also a whiffer, though. Yes, so he struck out also. This is his third straight strikeout. The hometown airman. All right, so now uh, I guess we probably want a pinch hitter here for the... Uh, for the uh, army, let's let uh, how about we let Gary Maddox go to bat? So Gary Maddox is pinch hitting for the army, a Vietnam vet, served in uh, '69 and '70. And here we go. Against Seaver, one three five. Oh, it's an unusual result. It's going to be another umpire result. So there's nobody on. Base is empty. We're going to roll again. We'll roll the decider out this time. 6-6. Six, six. Oh, lenient umpire at third base. Yes. He rolls at a towering drive. Nicks the foul pole. Home run. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so, yes. Red Flaherty says it wasn't a foul ball. It's a home run. That's going to tie the score. Pinch hit home run for Gary Maddox. Just off the foul pole. No video review in World War II. It's going to tie the score. Here's Tom Seaver arguing with Red Flaherty. Hey, that hit the hit the foul pole. Or didn't hit the foul pole. Uh, all right, so uh, that ties it up at 4-4. And we go to Jackie Robinson. Let's get Maddox, put him back on the bottom. That's a pretty interesting turn of events. 
Jackie Robinson, one out, nobody on. Three, four, six. Do we have an eager Jackie Robinson? He's not eager, so he's going to draw a walk, and he is going to steal his second base. So two stolen bases for Jackie Robinson. And the lead runner is on second base for the Army. Willie Mays coming to the plate with one out. Seaver, uh, this might be, well, you know, I'm, I'm going to roll the, roll the decider die. Dot, they're going to relieve him. Yep, he's coming out. Bob Feller is going to come in. Actually, I think I'm going to use somebody else because we can take advantage of that middle of the inning ace result. Let's use, uh, let's use Ed Figueroa and save Feller for the last. So Ed Figueroa is coming in to pinch hit, or to uh, rather to relieve. So he will be an ace and a semi-star with control facing Willie Mays. With one out, one on. Two, five, six. Struggler, no. Champion or patient, he is a semi-champion but did not get the dot. So we have infield drama. I'm not going to roll the decider die. Only if I need to. 24, second baseman gold. Ah, let's see. Second baseman for uh, the Navy is... Uh, is uh, oh, it's the hometown sailor who's iron. So the hometown sailor bobbles the ball, and it looks like the batter's going to be safe at first on an error. Ooh. So Willie Mays gets on with an error. That's not, it's not been a good day for the hometown. Well, hometown sailors had a decent day at the plate, but not in the field. So that, that puts the runners on first and second. And Ed Figueroa is no longer an ace. And here comes Hank Greenberg. We're tied at 4-4 in the top of the seventh. 1-3-6. So is he an ace? Oh, he was an ace last at bat, but not this one. Is is Greenberg Whiffer or Cold? He's not in the cold position. So it's going to be infield drama again. 12. Shortstop iron. No, the shortstop is not iron. So that's going to be, let's see, is he gold? Shortstop for the uh, Navy is, uh, let's see, that is going to be pesky. He's semi gold. I guess I got to roll the decider die, don't I? Dottie's gold. Oh, he's gold. Makes the play, ground out. I think that's going to be a double play. It is going to be a double play. Huge play for Pesky. He's going to be the most valuable player. So that will take the base runners off and it'll end the inning. Big double play and a very tough to field ball for Johnny Pesky. And that saves the day for the Marines. We do have one run in, though. The solo home run from pinch hitting Gary Maddox. It's 4 to 4. We go to the bottom of the seventh. And pitching for the Army will be. Let's bring in Hoyt Wilhelm. All right. And he's going to be facing Larry Doby, who has uh, walked and, and singled and struck out. One RBI. Bottom of the seventh, all tied up 4-4 in our Memorial Day All-Military All-Star game. 2-2-5. Two, two, Is he a star pitcher? No, he's semi-ace. Is he a slugger or sad sack? He is a semi-slugger, and he got the dot, so that's going to be a pop. Oh, is he a whiffer? It's going to be a strikeout. Strikeout for Larry Doby to lead off the inning. All right, here comes Ted Williams. One, five, five. Uh-oh, is he a home run king? He is a home run king. It's out of here. Ted Williams lofts the home run to center field. Out of the park at uh, Isley Field on Saipan. Is it Saipan or Saipan? I think it's Saipan. Anyway, however you pronounce it, it's a home run for Ted Williams. And that gives the Navy the lead 5-4. to four. Been a pretty good game so far. Hoyt Wilhelm tried to slip one by on a little curveball. Williams got a hold of it and knocked it out of the park. Here's Roberto Clemente. 1-1-5. One, one, well, Wilhelm is fresh, so it'll be a pop fly. Two down. And... Bill Dickey, who has uh, 
Singled and hit into a fielder's choice and a ground out. 2-2-5 two, two, for Dickey. Is uh, he a star pitcher? He's not a star pitcher. Slugger or sad sack? He's neither. So it's going to be single to center field. He's not active, so he won't steal any bases, but he does get on. So that's the second base hit for Bill Dickey. And uh, once again, Navy is threatening. Two outs, man on first. Here's Pee Wee Reese, who had the big home run. One, four, four. Is he flash? He has semi flash. There's no dot, though. Is he a hero? He's a semi hero. Got to roll that again. He's a hero. Single to right field. That will move uh, Dickey to second base. And uh, the hometown sailor is at bat. Tempted to pinch hit for the hometown sailor. I hate to pull the hometown sailor out of the game, but they could use a... He is a semi-slugger. We'll let him bat. It's Memorial Day. Runners on first and second. Hoyt Wilhelm stares him down, winds it up. Here's the pitch. Two, three, five. Is he wild? No. Is he eager? He is eager, but that's going to be... Is he a whiffer? Oh, he's a whiffer, though. Oh! Because he's both an eager, because he's both eager and a whiffer, instead of getting the single through shortstop, he is going to strike out. Well, close. One run in though for the Marines and Navy, and it's five four. Squids over the grunts. We go to the top of the eighth. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, top of the eighth. Do we leave Ed Figueroa in? Does he get to stay in? I guess he could stay in. I think we probably want to go with Bob Feller, though, to try to shut him down. So, uh, looks like Ernie Banks will lead off. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, here we go. Two, three, four. Runners on base? No. Hot batter? Uh, let's see. Banks is not the number two batter, is he? He's not, no. Pop out to third base for Ernie Banks. Joe DiMaggio. Three, four, four. Prospect. He's not a prospect for this card. Uh, or not the pitcher, rather. is not uh, Bob Feller's not a, not a uh, prospect. And uh, Joe DiMaggio is not patient, so it's going to be a pop out to second base. So quickly, two are out for the Army. And Ty Cobb left to try to get something going. One, two, three, flash and fresh. He is flash, and he is fresh, and that is going to be a strikeout for Ty Cobb. All right, so that will send us to uh, the bottom of the eighth. Navy on top, five to four. And it will be, uh, let's see, it will be, well, I guess Feller's got a, and we don't want to pull Feller. We'll let him bat. Two, six, six. No runner on first. He is the leadoff. Oh, he's the leadoff batter. He gets a single. Bob Feller with a surprise single. Let's see here. He scratches it out off of uh, Hoyt Wilhelm. <clears throat> All right, so a man on. And uh, Stan Musial at the plate. One, one, three. Ace or dynamic? Let's see, he is semi-ace. Oh, but he does not have the dot. Musial's a slugger. It's a double to left field. That will not score him, though. Nope. But there's two on. Nobody out. <clears throat> but, but we better see if uh, Wilhelm's going to come out. I know he's going to stay in. And Johnny Pesky. Here's Johnny Pesky's chance to hit a home run. Wouldn't that be the capper? A, a home run that would likely ice the game. Let's just see. One, three, five. That's going to be an unusual result. And it is going to be a ballpark result. Oh, and we're in a small ballpark. He could hit for, his, hit for the cycle. Well, let's just see. 14. Is it a small ballpark? It is. Fan in the bleachers celebrates catch of the home run ball. How about that? He just hit for the cycle. Off the ballpark chart. A three-run homer for Johnny Pesky. That's going to score Musial. It's going to score uh, Feller. <laughs> wow. That's a, big, that's a big hit. That's pretty historic. 
So Johnny Pesky hits for the cycle. In the uh, History Makers Who Served classic. Okay, so I think Wilhelm is... Uh, no, po no point in taking him out now. After the three-run homer. He'll face uh, Larry Doby. That's pretty amazing. I mean, I, <laughs> when he hit the triple, I was thinking, wow. And then when he hit the double, it's like, he, what, are, what are the odds? And then he did it. 4-4-5 four, four, for Larry Doby. Uh, let's see. Workman pitcher, no. Patient batter. He is semi-patient, but no dots. So it's going to be a ground out of the first base. So Hoyt Wilhelm finally gets somebody out. And uh, here comes Roberto Clemente. Um, no, I'm sorry, Ted Williams, and then Roberto Clemente. Two, four, six. Control pitcher, he does not have control. Eager or sad sag, no. That's going to be a walk, and uh, I think we might want to... I think we're going to get Hoyt Wilhelm out of here. I think, uh, I think we've seen enough. Let's bring in, uh, let's bring in Nolan Ryan. Poor Hoyt Wilhelm. So Ryan gets the ace bonus. There's one out, man on first. Hoping for the double play here as he faces Roberto Clemente. Two, four, five. That's the hero result, and he is a hero. That's going to be a base hit for Roberto Clemente. Single to left field. So that will move. Uh, Williams to uh, second, and we got runners on first and second with only one out. Bill Dickey. 1-1-2. One, one, Has he got flash? Well, yes, Ryan does have flash. That that he does, but Bill Dickey is a good eye, so that will, uh, instead of being a, being a strikeout, that's going to uh, just advance the runners. So a ground out. And two out with Pee Wee Reese at bats. Runners on second and third. Navy up seven to four. No, eight to four. Two two five. Is he a star pitcher? He is a star. Ground out to end the inning. All right, so that's the end of the inning. But three runs in, and Navy has the lead eight to four as we go to the top of the ninth. This is going to be it for the Army facing Bob Feller. Let me move this here. Figueroa and let's see here. Feller. Okay, so Garagiola is going to lead off. So we did use the uh, one inning of freshness. So he's going to be semi fresh. 2 4 4. Is he an ace? He's a semi ace, did not get the dot. Garagiola is not a champion, though, so it's going to be... A, is he a whiffer? He's a whiffer, so he's going to strike out Joe Garagiola. One out. Here's the hometown airman who struck out three times in a row. <laughs> Two, four, four. Uh, ace, he is an ace this time. Fly out to center field. And it all comes down to the pinch hitter. I have to have a pinch hitter here. The last chance for the Army. Who's left? Al Bumbry, I believe, is left on the on the bench. So Al Bumbry will pinch hit. And here we go. Bob Feller winds up. There's the pitch. One three. Oh, it's an unusual result. Oh, it's a ballpark result. So once again, we're going to the small ballpark chart. Two two. Artificial turf ballpark. No, it's grass. Uh, routine ground out, and that is going to close it out for the Army. So there's your final score. The Navy evens up the series with a big win. 8-4 eight to, eight to four is the final. A couple of big home runs. Pee Wee Reese hit one, and then, uh, of course, uh, the uh, Johnny Pesky last at bat home run, which uh, allowed him to hit for the cycle. He had a single in the first inning, a triple in the third inning, a double in the fifth inning and a home run in the eighth to uh, hit for the cycle in our History Makers Who Served Baseball Classic. Pretty good finish. Well, we'll have to see who uh, breaks the, uh, the the Tide Series next year, I guess, next Memorial Day. Uh, we'll get this card set out again and uh, put them back on the field. Well, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. It was enjoyed having you. Hope you have a very safe and restful, reflective holiday weekend. 
Uh, these cards, if, if you're new to the play games, these cards were released last year as part of the newsletter. And if you uh, got the news ping today, there's a link there which will allow you to uh, download them yourself and have your own uh, Memorial Day classic if you'd like. Um, uh, but whatever you do this holiday weekend, hope you hope it's safe and, and very enjoyable for you. Thanks for watching. There's no uh, play space next week. Uh, following week, which I believe is June 6th, we'll be showcasing something brand new. The face to the mat, three for all throwdown rules. It'll be a head to head, three for all throwdown between me and AFR Steve Tower, who will join us live from Boston. So you won't want to miss that. We'll talk about more, that more coming up. But uh, that's what's coming up in our next broadcast, June 6th. Have a very safe and happy Memorial Day weekend, and we'll see you again soon on The Play Space.